Astronomers refer to space as a sort of cosmic time machine. That's because when we look up at the sky, we're actually contemplating the past. When observing a star thousands of light years away, we witness its state from a millennium past. In this grand journey of visual time, constellations whisper secrets about our own origin. How did we get here? What was life like on Earth billions of years ago? The discovery of a new neighboring planet may unveil a bit more about these sidereal mysteries. Earth echoes in the trail of stardust, traveling at the speed of light to tell our own story. In January 2024, a group of astronomers made the discovery of a new exoplanet, similar in size to Earth. This backyard neighbor, located just 73 light years away, also orbits a star similar to our Sun. Around this mother star, named HD 63433, two other planets have already been found. The latest discovery, however, is the most intriguing so far. That's because it is the smallest and youngest exoplanet ever found in the range of 500 million years old. In astronomical terms, this is nothing compared to the 4.6 billion years of our solar system. Imagine going back in time and observing Earth when it was still a child. This is the most relevant aspect of the discovery. The new planet may provide clues about what the primitive Earth was like. Furthermore, this new planet is too close to its sun. Scientists estimate that it is about eight times closer than Mercury is to our star. This distance is so short that the planet completes a turn every 4.2 Earth days. Due to this frightening proximity, the planet has its orbit locked, just like the moon in relation to Earth. In other words, it can revolve around the sun but is in a constant catatonic state, in an eternal tidal lock. This creates two parallel realities in the same world. The side that constantly faces the star is always in daylight, while the other side is perpetually turned towards the cold and darkness of space. The hot side facing the sun is the most complex and intriguing. It is constantly bombarded by stellar radiation, raising the planet's temperature to about 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. This creates a kind of lava atmosphere on the planet, which is half Earth, half fire. This new world has been named HD 63433d. It carries the same name as its mother star, with an added letter from A to Z following the order of discovery. Despite its proximity to the sun, scientists are concentrating on studying its magnetic field. Outgassing and atmospheric losses could also provide crucial data about the evolution of planets similar to our home. The new planet Lava was identified by researchers from the University of Florida and Wisconsin in the United States. The discovery was shared by scientists during the American Astronomical Society meeting in New Orleans, Louisiana. The new planet was officially unveiled to the world on January 10, 2024. Their research is meticulously described in a study published by the Astronomical Journal. For this, they used a technique that allows the detection of exoplanets when they pass in front of stars. The process results in a decrease in sunlight, enabling shadows to reveal other bodies in the vicinity. On a dark night in the city of Madison, a pair of binoculars revealed the existence of this neighboring world. Its system resides in the Ursa Major constellation. The young and vigorous sun is visible from both the northern and southern hemispheres. All this cosmic richness is in the backyard of our solar system. What kind of secrets can such a close and young star reveal? That's what NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite investigates. TESS was launched in April 2018 and has since managed to find more than 4,000 worlds. In 2020, astronomers embarked on an audacious planet-hunting project called THYME. To do so, they used satellite data to identify planets orbiting the star HD 63433. The first targeted investigation located the planet HD 63433b. It is approximately the size of Neptune and has a year duration equivalent to seven Earth days. Next came the discovery of HD 63433c. It is slightly larger than the first and takes about 20 Earth days to complete one orbit. What scientists did not anticipate is that a rocky planet would be found even closer to the Sun. HD 63433d is the smallest and youngest among the siblings. Even so, it promises to reveal what Earth was like with only 500 million years. 
The search for life beyond Earth gained momentum 30 years ago. This happened when the existence of planets outside the solar system was confirmed. An exoplanet, or extrasolar planet, is any planet that inhabits planetary systems beyond our own. The first exoplanets orbiting stars similar to the Sun were discovered in the mid-1990s. What was once a hypothetical idea opened a new dimensional window for astronomy. Since then, over 5,000 exoplanets have been cataloged in more than 4,000 planetary systems. Smaller rocky planets similar to Earth are classified into two groups, mini-Neptunes and super-Earths. Super-Earths are approximately 1.6 times the size of Earth, while mini-Neptunes vary in size from two to four times that of Earth. Curiously, few planets with these characteristics have been located by astronomers since then. One possible explanation for this is that mini-Neptunes are evolving and transforming into super-Earths. In theory, mini-Neptunes are encased in a cocoon of atmospheres composed of hydrogen and helium. Scientists know that these two chemical compounds are remnants of the formation of the Sun they orbit. When these mini-Neptunes are small and close to their star, they are impacted by radiation, which melts their atmospheres. With this rapid loss of mass, the planet would then transform into a super-Earth, with a smaller size and a thinner atmosphere, similar to our Earth. The two sibling planets of HD 63433d are classified as mini-Neptunes. This highlights the importance of studying this planetary system as a whole. Observations of both revealed that they are losing hydrogen and helium. Neither of them has gravity strong enough to retain their gases, which are escaping toward the Sun. This also surprised researchers, as most of the atmosphere of other planets flows away from the stars. All this set of unprecedented data captures the attention of the scientific community. In other words, astronomers may be observing for the first time the slow and gradual transformation of mini-Neptunes into super-Earths. As our eyes turn to the infinity of space, we unconsciously travel through time. The recent discovery of the lava planet is proof of this fascinating window that opens every day to our cosmic past. When we gaze at stars, we see small bright points in the sky. What we forget is that this light is, in fact, a true dimensional portal to understand the origins of our own existence. Humanity is always seeking the past. Through history, we traverse time. The Roman Empire, the construction of the pyramids, the cavemen, the dinosaurs. The further back we go, the closer we get to the great question of the universal beginning. The dream of a time machine would place us at the exact moment of these grand evolutionary events. What we don't realize is that the time machine already exists and is within all of us. We don't need significant technological tools. Just look at the sky. Each star harbors a secret. Each point of light is a historical record of what once was and is no more. If space is the latent record of the creation of the universe, our eyes are the time machine itself. Earth echoes through this grand sidereal reading. To understand our origin, open the book of the night and listen the stars. If you enjoyed this cosmic content, leave your comment. Also, don't forget to like and share this fascinating discovery. See you on the next interstellar journey.